back long, long ago. I'm not sure if I'm ripping off Star Wars, but um, 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 um. There was a time, okay. There was a time where it was an oversparked the YouTube creator. This is coming out really cringy, but <laughs> back then. There was something different about Alex, okay? You wanna know what was different about him? He was a RuneScape glitcher. If you don't know what a RuneScape glitcher is, you're about to find out. I'm not sure if that's a voice crack. Alex, okay? Okay, his cousin, his cousin was addicted to RuneScape, okay? He was very addicted, very addicted. I mean like on acid, on toast. That makes perfect sense. But he was, he was addicted, okay? He was addicted. He was like, oh man, I got the Black Knight armor. I'm so cool. And we thought that was cool, okay? It was 10,000. And that's not really a lot. But when we started, we thought that was the coolest thing ever. This is going to be kind of like the Macbeth story from Shakespeare. The tragedy of Oversparked, or Alex, we're going to say. When he was introduced to RuneScape, he became loved. But not loved. Loved by RuneScape. I don't know why I like the game so much. Um, a lot, I found out a lot of, like, bigger YouTubers actually used to play as a kid. Honestly, I feel like it's the worst game to play as a kid, but that's just me. I might be the, like, I don't know. But, this game was the shit. Okay? I'm not saying that because there's people downstairs. Huh? But, um, this game was the shit, okay? It was very nerdy. I never told anyone about it. I really didn't. And, I, it was, I wasn't like so much I tried to hide it, I just, I didn't really care to tell people in real life, so, I was very, like, I felt like I was athletic as a kid, so I was like, I'm not as nerdy as I used to be, even though I played the most nerdiest game you could possibly play, I was, I was, I was that one kid, I was that one kid, that one cool kid. At least I'd like to think that. I just start building up. I start building up. There's like this thing called Elite Black Knight Armor, okay? Me and my cousin raced to get it. We spent countless hours doing the most retarded thing ever, trying to make money for it on that game. Now, I'm just trying to give you a good idea how competitive we were, my cousin and I. And, god damn, like, I was, I felt like I was so cool when I got, like, the freaking blue rune, or I forgot what it was called. I, I, like, I should have played this as a kid, and you guys will find out, like, if you played this as a kid, chances are you may be a little more corrupted than you were before. Now, this game introduces a lot of bad stuff, okay? Introduces scamming, gambling, and... <gasps> and it's not like they tried to do that on purpose, it was just the community. And the community was really corrupted, I'm not gonna lie, it was really corrupted. And I was such a money whore on that game, like, I just wanted money. I wanted money. And that's, that's all I wanted. And it's kind of hard to piece this all together, but I used to play on free play. And playing free play on RuneScape back in the day, it was like, literally, like, it was retarded. Like, it was it was basically like BO3 on the 360 compared to next gen. That's basically what it was, but ten times worse. Now, I remember it was my birthday, okay? I used to go to the bowling alley. Every time was my birthday. And that's when I bought one year of RuneScape. And I thought I was the most clever kid ever. You want to know why? Because my grandfather, okay, my grandfather, every time for my birthday, I'll just tell him, I want a year. So I caught him in this endless loop, this endless loop, where every time when it hit my birthday, I'd get the present of a year, which is an endless loop. So I basically had infinite gold membership, and I was like, ah, oh, no more of that old lifestyle. It, it soon ended, it, yeah, it's JK. Okay. But um, I would never play that game, back to free play. But I always wanted, I was really bad at that game, and part of the reason I think being why, because I was a kid, but I, like, I always tried PvPing, basically you would just, like, fight people, and if they died, they would drop their stuff, before you would just get, like, cool stuff, but then they later updated it, where you, they would actually drop all the stuff they carry with them, and that was pretty cool. No, I was never good, I was never good, I never got anything good, and I, I wasn't really that rich, okay? And this is where I... I find out what bug abusing is, and that corrupted, I mean, that community is so corrupted, it really is, the bug abusing community in RuneScape. And this community, this community, this community, is, it's nothing to mess with, it's the bug abuse community, I mean, it's the bug abuse community, or the glitching community of RuneScape. Now, I always tried justifying what I did wasn't bad because I only did graphical glitches, just glitches with the graphics. It wasn't anything game breaking like money or anything, even though I soon started to do that. Maybe not money, but I did definitely break 
a couple of rules. And I actually made friends with a J mod, okay? A J mod. You wanna know what a J mod is? It's a developer of the game. I was friends with a developer of the game. I remember trying to troll him and he freaking permanently banned. Damn, done. Permanently banned. I freaking. I remember sending it. I'm please, I'll never glitch again. Just random crap like that. Wanna know what he did? He unbanned me. It was, it was the best feeling ever. It really was. It didn't stop there. It didn't stop. I just kept glitching. And then I started getting into the gambling and scamming community. I scammed someone. I, there was a scam method going around. This technique. How to scam people out of a trade. Basically, you would fool someone by making them think you took their object. But really, they didn't. They just, you lended them one. So what would happen is, if they were dumb enough... You'd, you'd pray to God they were dumb enough, and if they are dumb enough, and they were, like, friendly enough, they would give it back to you. But, ironically, most of the time they would think they actually scammed you, but, you, no, you, you juke them out, you, you fake them out, and they would just log out, thinking they just scored a couple million dollars, a small loan. Small loan, small loan, million million. Oh yeah, by the way, a million coins on that game translated to a dollar. So, there was this time, it was the Santa hat. Don't ask me why the Santa hat was $86 million. I think it was, but it was. And that translates to 86 bucks. I scammed him. I scammed him. I felt like such a badass. I was thinking of all the future I could have had scamming people. I never got that lucky again, but I was thinking of a future I could have. I could finally be a billionaire on that game. Sadly, it never happened. But, you know what? That doesn't stop me. I still try to this day. JK, I, I quit that game. I knew how bad that game was for me. Oh, oh. Ooh, don't get me started. That game, I started getting into gambling. I was getting really rich off of that. I think I there was a point where, I don't know why. I also changed my character to a female. I thought that was really cool. I don't know why. But um, there was, I, I think I got up to $360 million. So this kid, if he would have sold all of that, which by the way, was against the rules. And I did actually buy, I started buying stuff when I started losing my gambling addiction. But right when it started happening, the gambling addiction. I started scamming people too when I couldn't pay the price. Small loan of a million. I would leave, and basically I would just roll a dice. It, let's just say it was like one out of five. Let's say I get three to five, it's mine. If they get one to two, they I double the price, and that was how the gambling went. You guys are keeping along. If you can't, I'm. I apologize, but um, yeah, I had to scam a couple of people. Overall, I remember uh, there was like ranks in like these gambling clans. Okay, I know how cringy this sounds, but there's gambling clans. Okay, there's our general, a lieutenant. And whoever the second place was. And uh, I think it was a captain, actually. Or that's fourth place. I have no idea. Basically, I remember I was just trying to get up in the rankings. And you needed to actually give the leader, the general, money to rank up. I know. So not corrupted. Now, I remember I decided to gamble with one of the lieutenants. Okay? I wiped him out. I cleaned his bank. Literally, he was gone. He went from rich to poor. I literally cleaned him in gambling. Then I decided to get a little Mokaki with the last drop he had. The leader gave him money. I lost half of that. And I, no, I didn't feel as bad because he was my friend, okay? He was my friend. He was my friend. He was my friend. Okay. He was my friend though, okay? So I didn't feel bad and I felt kind of happy because I still made profit off of them. As kind of dark that is. But he, he, well, he didn't go totally broke, okay? And the leader was actually mad at him. I remember this. This is... Kind of like me as Macbeth. I became the king, and then I started dying down. I started losing my money. I started losing gambling. The luck wasn't with me. Then I, I went back to buying coins. And I, you could actually, like like I said, that translation thing. One million equals one dollar. So let's say I paid 35 bucks. You would get 35 million. And most of these sites, most of these sites that would run them. And this was breaking the rules, okay? This, this totally wasn't with the rules. Most of these sites, these third-person sites, or third-party sites, I meant to say, are ran by people in China. Just, just typically Asian people. Nothing against Asian people, but just typically them. And they would try so hard to scam. I remember they tried scamming my dad, and I, I felt so bad, but... The addiction, man. The addiction. Now, soon after, I were invested with glitching. I didn't really care about money, I believe. Or I, I just... I always cared about money, but god damn. I was never really good with like leveling up or anything either. I just, I got so invested with glitches. And then some updates got implemented and I, I quit the game. In sixth grade, I think, I quit the game. And in middle school, I headed in and, um, yeah. And 
I remember this account, this YouTube account had 300 subs. I thought we were the shit. It wasn't even mine. It was a team I'm in. It was a team. It was a glitching team, okay? It was a... I was showing it off to my friends at the time in 7th grade, okay? 7th grade, showing it off. Look at this RuneScape team. Look, I'm in it. 300 subs. Get jealous. They started laughing at me. They started making fun of me. It was not fun. It was not fun. It was not fun. I had to say that three times just to insert how not fun it was. They made fun of me. They made fun of my pride. I later got <laughs> the leader angry of the team because he won my account since I stopped playing RuneScape. And guess what? I said only for 30 days, I think. I don't even know how this went. But I remember I wanted my account back. And he's like, you're never getting your account back. So, turns out my friend was friends with this other JMod, okay? Keep in mind, they're game developers. And he was a glitcher. How ironic, okay? Now, he asked her. I was in a Skype call. And he asked her. And she filled my complaint. It, well, it wasn't a complaint, but it was me trying to get my account back. And she accepted it. And I got my account back. And you want to know what I did? I roasted the hell out of him. I roasted the... I just roasted him. I was like, oh, you... You thought you had my account. I was a fool. To not remember the time I... This, uh, this is... Uh, this is about to get really dark. I apologize, but this is about to get really, really dark. I was a fool. I was in a Skype call with him on my laptop. I had a webcam, okay? I had a webcam. This webcam, I was eating cookies on the webcam. I don't know why, but I was doing it with, like, scissor fingers, too. I have no idea why. I it just, I was, I was literally retarded. He recorded that. I, I, I don't know why he recorded that. that he, I, 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 <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing it. I believe he was a psychopath, okay? I honestly believe he was a psychopath. He told me he was up from a... He told me he was from an orphanage and stuff. And just the way he went about things. I sincerely believe he was a psychopath to this day. And now I felt bad for the kid. Back then, I just wanted to murder him. But he leaked that, okay? He uploaded it to the team channel, I think. All my glitching friends. These corrupted teenagers now know what I look like. They now know the truth. I'm a little kid. Even though I've been in the lock closet with them with my squeaker voice. And goddamn, I had a squeaky voice, by the way. Hey guys, my name is Osmo. But now they knew. And I think after, I think it was about, I think, yeah, it was a little after I quit, but I didn't like fully quit. And I think that's when I started to fully quit. And it was embarrassing. I, I'm not gonna lie, I had some depressing thoughts. I really did in 7th grade. I remember at course just thinking, what the hell am I gonna do with my life? I was thinking about getting the cops on it and everything. But you wanna know what I did? I, I filled a complaint on the video. The video got taken down. I said it was invading my privacy or something. And boom, the video got taken down. I was so happy. And that is the tragedy of... Sparky. Or Spark. My name was Bart back then, which is kind of how I got the name Morris Bart, by the way. That's the tragedy of Spark. That was my glitcher name, by the way. Oh yeah, my RSN, or short for that as RuneScape name, is was Spark and Alex. Just imagine, 11-year-old Spark and Alex, the bug abuser. Yes, I was, I, was the, I was the crap, honestly. I'm kidding, but yeah, so... Do I believe that game is part of the reason why I'm, I get my dark thoughts today? Yes. Do I wish I haven't played that game? Yes. But at the end of the road, you gotta think about it. What you do as a kid makes you you. And maybe if I never played RuneScape, I would never be the teen sensational YouTuber I am now today. And that is the story of Spark and Alex, the bug abuser. Anyways... <laughs> I'm just gonna end it there. I, th I don't know. I just I want to really make that intense and um, I I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I feel like it was pretty intense. Like I I've, I hope you guys were shaking throughout the whole thing, but yeah, I'm kidding by the way, but um Yeah, hope you guys have a great day. I don't really don't do outros, but you know what? I don't care I really don't care because it's hump day in three days Okay, I'm a retarded. Cold night takes us to a place to escape the chill.